All right, Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone that taught us well. All right, Shalom to the elect scattered abroad, preaching this word and this doctrine and truth, honesty, and sincerity. Shalom on the Bullet Conf on the Great Millstone Miami Camp. I'm coming back once again with another video. And in, uh, and in this video, we'll be going into um, primarily uh, some exhortation. All right. What is the hardest part, as an Israelite, that you got to deal with coming in this truth? Okay. And, um, you know, just something dwelling on my spirit in terms of what things you're going to have to deal with as an Israelite when you're coming to this truth. All right. And first and foremost, primarily, um, you know, when you come into this truth, all right, you're gonna have to deal with a lot of uh, spiritual warfare, so to speak. All right, a lot of spiritual warfare and physical warfare as well. Okay, when you come into this truth, all right, like the scripture says, you know, it's um, sweet as honey in the mouth, but it was bitter in the stomach. Okay, and um. You know, you find out you're an Israelite and you find out that you're God's chosen uh, people. But then there's certain things that come along with it. All right. You know, when you first come into the truth, you know, you're very zealous. You want to tell everybody that they're an Israelite. You know, you want to just walk walk down the street and scream it <laughs> and scream it out in public. You know, but. What's gonna happen is you're gonna have a lot of people look at you weird. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna tell you, well, what do you mean you're an Israelite? What does that mean? And you know you're gonna bring out the scriptures. And you might have family members that might scoff at you. All right, you might have friends that might scoff at you. Your own children even might scoff at you. All right, so a part of coming into this truth. Is you're going to have people that are going to mock you, scoff you, all right? They're going to belittle you, which is part of the prophecies, right? But what's happening is those individuals that mock you and scoff you, all right, they have demons on them. There's a reason why the truth resonates with you and not with them. The reason why they're scoffing is because their inner demons are being shaken by the Rahakwadash, all right, the Holy Spirit. All right, because to to be able to obtain this truth, you need to have the Rahakwadash. You need to have the Holy Spirit. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, then this truth is not gonna be able to resonate with you. So in this truth, you're gonna have a lot of friends, fan members that are going to be the Lord is just gonna shift them out of your life. It might also be your wife as well. All right. The woman that you've been with for years, you know, it might feel lonely, okay, because you might feel like you you're like a lone wolf and nobody around you understands you, or, or you know, everybody that that's a, that's in your life just doesn't understand or see the way that you see things in any longer because now you're in the truth. But guess what? That is the beautiful part, all right, because Yahweh Shai said. I am not of this world, all right? He said, Yahweh Shai said, if the world hated you, just know that it hated me first. And that's why Yahweh Shai got crucified. And who crucified Yahweh Shai? His own people, all right? So it'd be your own people, man, that's gonna be against you, all right? And really, you just got to thank the Lord for that, you know, because he's taking you out of darkness and he's giving you this light, this marvelous light. You know, that's just part of the, the, the trials and tribulation that comes with this truth. But also, all right, you're going to start, you're going to start having Satan mess with you, man. Okay, you're going to, you might have, you might start having um, a lot of financial troubles all of a sudden. Or... Whether it might be at a, at a large scale or a small on a smaller, more uh, controlling scale, such as maybe car troubles, or you might start noticing 
a lot of troubles at your job out of nowhere or your boss might be able to you know your boss just might start giving you trouble as well for men a lot of women might not might not want to deal with you for a while <laughs> all right you might be with a woman for years and next thing you know she you know saying hops on her and she decides to leave you because now you're in this so-called truth you know you're in this so-called uh, you know she well so-called because that's what they call it your quote-unquote truth right but this, this literally no this actually is the truth this is salvation you know now your girl starts seeing you weird she starts looking at you like you know you're in a cult next thing you know she leaves you from one day to another but guess what a lot of brothers will attest to that as well all right even the even the apostles will attest to that you know you start growing your beard people start mocking you or oh, you look homeless now you look dirty shave that beard you know these are just part of the things that come into this truth all right but in the end there's a crown that awaits okay there's a crown that awaits there's salvation that awaits because you know no one talks shit like israel does no one no one speaks out of the ass like the nation of israel they talk a lot of trash all right they think they know it all right but we gonna see who was right when Yahweh Shai comes back and cracks those clouds. We are gonna see who was right when the whole world sees that the the fathership. We are gonna see who's right when the Karagwan becomes mandatory. All right, and shit when um. When Jacob's trouble comes, all right? A man shall desire to go into the city and will not be able to. The men of the Lord are going to be right in the end. Okay? And when our hope breaks loose and Israel starts getting on their knees trying to pray, trying to remember the names. Oh, what was that name that my cousin told me? Yeah, 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 something. What, what was it? He seems he's doing off good, but I am I, I can't find any food. They're gonna start trying to pray to the Lord, but it's gonna be too late. Alright. So in the end, really, this truth is only for the elect. Okay. Alright, so just continue to endure, alright? Persecution is also coming as well. But the Lord. The Lord is going to Lord the Lord got us, alright. Scripture says, My servant shall eat. So in the end, do not be perplexed. Alright, do not be vexed. Okay. Because the Lord is not the author of confusion. Alright, we suffer now because we have a crown that awaits. Alright. The prize is coming, Nakim. Shalom.